All right, hello, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to downgrade your iPad 2 from 9.3.5, you can see right there, to iOS 6 or 8, depending on what you choose. Um, we're going to want to install Phoenix. I don't want to speak like that. Don't worry, um, this is just to show on the iPad. Once you see that, then we're going to go to the uh, MacBook. And don't worry about me showing my iCloud, that is a throwaway account. Prepare for jailbreak. Proceed. And it is going to, once you press begin, oh, there it is burning. I did not notice that. Who's provided? I guess there is a burner. No, I can't tell. Uh, Wait for it to reboot. I will be fixing, hopefully, this in the next ep well, another episode or so on the video. Um, I gotta fix this dent right here to make the screen fit and everything. I buy a new panel. That's it. I mean, most of this come out. I can lift like the whole bottom with my finger. I don't know why it rebooted. All right, if it does that, um, just prepare, accept, proceed, dismiss, begin. That's a jailbreak. It is jailbreak right now. Um, I waited. After it rebooted, I waited about like two, three minutes, and then I ran it. That's probably what you should do. Um, and now it is respringing, which is what I'm hoping. Slide and then go into Cydia. Oh, okay. And then it, it might, I mean, it will ask you, but we're going to click here before it does anything. We'll do, click open to SSH, SSH. Wait for this to go by. Uh, the complete upgrade, we'll just do this again. I would recommend a complete upgrade just in case. Just to be safe with what we're downloading. And it will ask to respring, so we'll have to come back again. So it throws you out of city, just click it again. Click install, confirm, and then after this installs, we'll head to the computer.
All right, we'll head to the computer. All right, um, now we're at the computer. We have, we're gonna open up terminal. Um, let's download legacy iOS kit from the description. So this is the terminal, click enter, click one, and then click either one or two, depending if you wanna do 8.1, 8.4.1 or 6.1.3, and do two. And it will download it for you if you specify. If you click two, it will download it for you. Since I have it downloaded, I'm gonna press three. I'm gonna say no, and yes, yeah, since I have more RAM. I'm gonna generate a firmware bundle. And we're just gonna run it and make sure it's good to go by creating an IPSW. Good. Um, we're gonna press enter. I'll type in Alpine. No capitals. And then your iDevice should either turn off. If it doesn't, it be the uh, Wi-Fi. Keep in mind, did so. I was gonna attempt to find it. Uh, if it does say this, just unplug it and replug it in. I've seen the find that work, but it doesn't seem to work for me. So let's see this again. Six, or if you did iOS 8, you got it. But if you have a cellular model, you need to have a SIM card or it will not activate. And I'll show you why. So this is a, a cellular model. This is a AT&T. And if you do not have a um, SIM card in it, it will throw an activation error. And this is what happens when you have a SIM card, it'll say no service, click next, it'll activate, enable, 
Flip his new iPad. Skip this step. Don't send. Next. Start use iPad. There you go. Oh, that's a. I noticed in that clock icon before. Also, this was photo booth was introduced. All right. Well, that is how you get to iOS 6.1.3. Or 8.4.1 on an iPad 2. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.